Today is the day. I'm bringing you back to my first ever rental property. We brought you here before we did anything. Then we brought you here before we closed the walls. And today, we're gonna take you inside to show you what a proper renovation is supposed to look like. Now, before we go inside, I wanna pause for a second, go back, watch those other two videos, and think about this for just one second. I want you to try to come up with a number in your head of what you think this renovation costs. And then at the end, I'll give you a rough idea. I can't give you the exact sauce recipe, but I'll give you a rough idea. Let's go inside. Everything that you've come to expect from our Pinnacle Builds, you'll find here. Even though it's a rental property, even though no one would really know the difference, I wanted to make for sure that this house was gonna run trouble-free essentially forever. So right by the front door, we've got this closet that wasn't deep enough to put coats in, so we made it for shoes. We put these cute little coat hooks right here for the kids to come in and hang up their stuff. And because this is a little bit of a busy road, the people will probably be using the back door. So this door is not gonna be as functional day to day. So right now, we're standing in our formal living room and believe it or not, these railings were replaced, but these are the original steps. These guys were throwing plaster down the steps. I'm, not, I'm, I'm talking about wire mesh and basically concrete throwing down these steps. And just take a look at these steps. They came out absolutely beautiful. These floors, are 80 years old and we had to match up old with new in the kitchen we did new floors in that back playroom we did new floors but these floors are 80 years old and we matched them up old with new and did the absolute best that we could and i've got to say these floors came out absolutely stunning we've got hi-hats all throughout this house we've got a formal dining space right here Anderson windows, new insulation, new electric, new plumbing, new HVAC. We did spray foam insulation in the attic, brand new electric service. We pre-wired for TV, internet, and cameras. Again, everything you see here, you've come to expect from our Pinnacle Builds. Why would I do something for my own family and not do the same job? Now, through this hallway, we had another bedroom, but our tenants, and actually somebody's moving in this week. We didn't waste any time. In two days, somebody will be moving in. And just to give you an idea, this entire renovation was four days coast to coast. They asked me way back in the beginning and they've been kind of following along the project, please don't put a door here. We don't need a bedroom, we need a playroom for the kids. I said, all right, no problem. We trimmed it out. This could be a bedroom one day in the future, but look at the size of this space. We've got blinds going in for them. We did closet systems for them. I really didn't, I really, if I wanna go sell this house tomorrow and get top dollar, just like any one of our other builds, I can. So we've got this closet for the toys here. If you've got seasonal or winter clothes, of course, we always put lights in our closets, shelf and pole. Now let's get to the best part of the house. I wanna call this the affordable builder grade, but well done kitchen. Look at this space. Quartz countertops, Kraus sink, Kraus faucet, beautiful appliances. Got a nice size island. My tenants asked for another favor. They said, can we have a pantry? I said, we'll put, your pa we'll put a pantry in for you. So we've got a pantry, floor to ceiling right there. They weren't gonna really use this as a family room, so they're gonna put a kitchen table here. No problem. We've got blinds going in all throughout the house. But this space, even by modern new construction standards, is a pretty good size. Now, through this hallway, we have the must-have bedroom on the first floor with the full bath. And it's a beautiful bath, it's simple. We did a fiberglass shower, fiberglass shower pan over here and upstairs, we did a custom shower, but it's everything you need, nothing you don't. Bedroom over here, which I'm told their parents when they come visit for a few weeks at a time, this is amazing, it's off in one corner of the house. We've got a closet, a missing screen that I haven't put in yet. I'm gonna take you to the basement last where this transformation is, even though it's not finished, is still absolutely stunning and I'm gonna plug myself one more time. Please go back and watch those first couple of episodes because you're not gonna believe what this house used to look like. Again, take a close look at those steps. These are the original, no squeaking, no creaking. I spent a lot of money on this railing, but the steps are original. Upstairs, we've got three bedrooms, two baths, and the ever important laundry. Even in an old fashioned cape like this, I was able to shift everything around on this floor and get a laundry upstairs. So let me paint a little bit of a picture for you. This was kind of an open area. There was no bedroom over here. 
There was no laundry here, but this bathroom was here. Of course we gutted it, we ripped it out, all new plumbing, all new electric, but the tenant was gonna have to go down to an unfinished basement to do their laundry, and I figured everybody wants their laundry on the second floor, so pardon our appearance, it's not quite done yet, but we've got a laundry here, we've got the ever necessary floor drain which goes straight outside, God forbid the laundry, the washing machine fails, that's gonna drain straight outside, we call that an emergency drain. We've got a full bath right here, and this is actually their daughter's bedroom. This is bigger than my bedroom. This is massive. And because we spray foamed the, the entire rafters, even in this little cubby right here, there's actually a few more cubbies just like that in the primary suite. Another closet right here, a little area for a desk, and even though we could have got away with it, we did a separate central air unit for the second floor. So you've got one for the first floor supplying a few vents to the basement, and you've got this brand new spray foamed attic with a separate zone for the second floor. This house is gonna run super efficient. Now, after we took the space out of this open area for that hallway, this room became kind of small. So part of the plan was to add a little dormer here. This is actually gonna be the nursery for their newborn. and. This is a perfect size. You've got a big closet. You've got a light in here, of course, too. And now we're gonna get to the nicest room on the second floor, the primary suite. It's really not normal to have a primary suite with a separate bathroom and a walk-in closet and a house of this age and a house of this size, but we were able to achieve that. We've got a huge sleeping area, two more storage slash hiding spots. We've got a walk-in closet right here where I had custom closets done in this space as well. You've got a little nook to shove a little Ikea dresser in the back. And check out this bathroom. Again, custom tiled shower, colder fixtures, colder faucets, custom countertop, vanity, beautiful tile. This is basically what you get in any new construction that you've seen me build over the last 100 episodes. We even did an outlet for the toilet, so if you want a fancy remote control bidet toilet seat, you could do that here. If you remember what this basement looked like, I made a reel specifically about this basement. This was a dungeon, but I knew that it was dry, and that's the most important thing. So we did multiple coats of dry lock paint on the wall. We spray foamed all the rim joists, new electric, new plumbing, new HVAC. You can see the whole new waistline running across the whole back of the house, and if you're interested in how bad things can really go, go to my Instagram, at Pinnacle Real Estate is my handle, one of my most recent reels, you'll see, I always like to put a camera in the sewer line before somebody moves in. Especially when the house has been vacant, if there's roots growing in that line, it's gonna be shocking to you how quickly that space can get filled up with roots when somebody's not living in the house and there's not a constant flow of stuff moving through there. So, we shoved the camera in, we changed that clean out cap, we found a big root ball, and my guy put a snake back in, and he said, listen, Shazad, I don't know, but I'm basically hitting a brick wall. I said, okay, whatever. I hired my friend to come and actually dig up the street, and guess what? We found my whole torso, I kid you not, and five inches thick, solid root ball. When the guy held it up, it was like he was holding a, a prize fish. Okay, we broke the street, we took a sewer permit, we patched that section and put a camera back in to make sure the sewer line is gonna work perfectly for decades to come. Guess what would have happened if I didn't take that extra step? In the first day the tenant moved in, this entire house would have been backed up, their confidence would have been shaken, and I would have had an insurance claim of tens of thousands of dollars. Now back to this basement, we sheetrocked the ceiling, it's heated, I gotta throw some vents up here. We are not representing this as a finished basement, but if, you're, if the kids are getting cabin fever and they need to ride their bikes in circles all, all winter long, then so be it. It's a thousand square foot space. There's a lock and key on that door to the furnace, and please don't par pardon our appearance. We still have to do some air sealing, some capping, some cleaning up around these windows, but we replaced all the exterior basement windows. All our utilities are over there. Let me show you one more thing before we wrap up for today. The main thing when I decided that I was gonna keep a house for rental was I wanted to make sure that I would never get those annoying calls. My hot water heater's not working, my heat's not working, my electric, the panel keeps you know tripping a breaker. We did brand new electric, all brand new low voltage wiring, brand new hot water heater, all new insulated ductwork, brand new central air system. This is a gas-fired furnace. This is your cooling coil. You use this in the winter, you use this in the summer, all new gas line, 
all new waistline, and we even have a built-go door here. It'll be locked up tight, but if there's ever an emergency, I can get in here and I can service this without disturbing their quality of life in the rest of the house. Everything back here, again, is what you've come to expect from our Pinnacle builds. We're missing the grass because we're deep in the winter and we're going to do sprinklers in the spring as well. But patio, PVC fence, AC condensers are sitting nice and high and dry in a great spot. And because this is a little bit of a busy road, we actually made the driveway towards the backyard and you'll be able to just park your car, walk right in and go in the front door. We've got cameras everywhere. And I'm sure you remember from that earlier episode, we've got this subdivision going on. So we've got a brand new house going on next door. So they're gonna have a very nice neighbor next door. These guys are gonna actually be here for a couple of years. We wanted them to feel welcome and we didn't want them calling us for every little thing. So we made this house, we built it to last. And thank you for following me along on this journey. Please go back and watch those earlier episodes. Thank you for listening to me rant on about this beautiful home. Please follow me on Instagram if you don't already do so. At Pinnacle Real Estate is my handle. Thank you very much, everyone, and have a great day.